What's going on YouTube? Bird here and in today's video we are going over the Gauss rifle and how powerful it is. But before we get into the video make sure you smash that like button with the false 76 come you can see this and subscribe for more false 76 content. Let's get into it. <laughs> Starting off everything, the brother of Steel has sent me to a few locations around the map, that way I can demonstrate how powerful this weapon is, and at the end of the video I'll be showing you the exact weapon itself, its mods, and the build that I'm using. The first target on my list though is this very vicious Scorch Beast that goes by the name Charlie. Charlie is actually my personal Scorch Beast, and she kind of broke free from my house and is harassing everyone that is at the White Springs. It's my job to take her down, so Charlie! Charlie, I'm over here. I'm gonna need you to come over here and listen to me. Listen. Oh God. Oh God, here we go. Where is she at? There we go. Just gonna kind of try to get these shots off on her. Oh, Charlie. You're, you're flying the wrong way. Yep, there we go. Oh, now you know. Now you know? Okay. Look at that, Jesus. Just let me charge up. You stand to no chance, Charlie. There's no sense in running. There's no sense. To Stop shooting at me. St Where are you at? Stop shooting at me. Stop shooting at me. Oh, there he is. All right, here we go. Wing shot, face shot. Charlie is down for the count. Now, let's move on to my next target. The next targets on my list that the brother is still wanting to take down are a bunch of vicious ghouls located at the White Springs Golf Club. And if you're not careful, these ghouls will surround you and rip your face off. So don't let that happen. Uh-oh. I was about to say, I've seen one in the roof, but I'm not too sure what's going on there. Excuse you, sir. We're going to need you all to die. It's not safe with you here. It's not safe with you here at all. Excuse you, sir. Just get a blast to the face. Someone behind me? Nope. What about you, sir? Already dead? Nice. Nice. My initiate came through here earlier. Wiped out some guys. He did say he left a few, so that's why that's why I'm here, making it a safer place for everyone. Not just the Brotherhood members that want to go golfing. Oh. Now you don't necessarily have to have this charged up all the way, but there's no reason not to. You know, you're just running around. Might as well have it charged and ready to go. For reasons like that. Goodbye, ghoul. I wonder if there's a Wendigo. Usually there's a Wendigo or a glowing one. They're a little bit stronger. Probably not, though. The initiate, he did kill a, f uh, a fair amount of them. So, Yeah, there's definitely not. So, let's move on to my next target. The next targets on my list that the brother is still want me to take down are the vicious super mutants of West Tech. They even have a suicider. Now, these guys are extremely armed and dangerous. So, do not come mess with them unless you're ready to go. But luckily for me, I'm hiding in the woods, so they don't have any idea what's going on. They just know they are dying. Ooh, ooh, I almost hit him. What about this guy? What about this guy? That's the one I'm going for. Goodbye, sir. What about the doggy? Goodbye, doggy. Come move in closer. You know, thin the herd, then move in closer. That's what you're supposed to do. We're doing some hurt thinning. Anyone else? No. I didn't even kill those guys. I just damaged them. But that's okay. Because they're going to die just like that. Anyone else? Yep. There it goes. Face shot. Look at that. 1,000. It's a steady 1,379. That is amazing. Ooh, I hope that's explosive. No! Dang it. Not bad, though. Not bad. I was just hoping for something more. Look at those explosives, though. Holy crap. Please do not hit me. I have no defense. 2,503. think that is the most that I've ever gotten out of a rifle. Without any buffs or anything like that. And just like that, these mutants are no more. Now, let's move on to my next target. The next target on my list that the brother that still want me to take down is a very vicious super mutant behemoth that goes by the name Toad. And just look at Toad. He's chillaxing, acting like nothing's going down. Maybe grabbing a drink or something. Because he could definitely not breathe underwater, so I don't know what he's doing, but. Goodbye, Toad. You look extremely ugly. We're gonna give you some face shots. Face shot? Oh, missed. Face shot? There we go. Come on, Toad, get closer. Look at that. A 90. Oh. Poor, 
poor Toad. And just like that, Behemoth Toad is no more. Now, let's get into the weapon, its mods, and the build that I'm using. Starting off over in the build, these are all the normal part cards that make up the build. I'm not going to go in depth in the legendary part cards or my base stats, but starting off with these, we have 2 in strength, and this is so we can have blocker at 2 stars. Take 30% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 15, and this is so we can have all the Rifleman cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. Then we have Tank Killer maxed out. Your Rifles and Pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. Then we have Concentrated Fire at 1 star, and this is so we can target the limbs or the head. Then, of course, we have Grenadier maxed out, currently because this works with your Goss weapons. Your Explosives detonate with twice the radius. It's fantastic. Over in Endurance, we have 9, and this is so we can have Ghoulish maxed out. Radiation that now regenerates even more of your lost health. We have Admantum Skeleton at 2 stars. Your limb damage is now reduced by 60%. We have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from Explosives and Flame Attacks. And then we have Radical maxed out. The greater the rads, the greater the strength. And max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 7, and this is so we can have a Lone Wanderer maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regain. Then we have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 8, and this is so we can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% of damage, and 15% AP regain. We have Demolition Expert maxed out. Your explosives do a plus 60% of damage. Over in agility, we have 12, and this is so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Covert Operative maxed out. Your ranged sneak attack still 2.5 times the normal damage. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies, and running no longer affects stealth. And of course, we have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a 10%, max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in Luck, we have 13, and this is so we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vats Criticals now do a plus 40% damage. We have 4 Relief Clovers at 2 stars. Each hit in Vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and right away will never cure your mutations. And of course, we have Critical Savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. This is the build that I use for the demonstrations. It's a fantastic explosive rifleman build in my opinion. But if you want to know the legendary perk cards or my base stats, I will link a video in the description. But yeah, this is the rifleman build. Now let's get into the weapon I used and its mods. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is my two-star legendary Goss rifle. And the main legendary effect is a bloodied effect, which is the damage increases as your health decreases. And also has a plus 50% of VATS hit chance, which is fantastic with this weapon, especially because all I do is use it in VATS. It's one of my favorite weapons, and I do have a two-shot explosive one, which is a legacy variant, which is also phenomenal. But I just wanted to show this weapon because Ghost Rifles are fantastic if you can get the right setup with it. Now the mods I decided to use for the weapon is the True Shielded Barrel, True Stock, Perforating Capacitor, Long Recon Scope, and the Suppressor. That is right, you can use a Suppressor on the Ghost freaking Rifle. What are the odds? So if you have a fantastic stealth commando or rifleman build, not commando, just like the one I showed you, then you are good to go. But yeah, this is the weapon in all of its mods. And guys, if you enjoyed the Fault 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fault 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.